You're looking live at Times Square where thousands are already gathering to watch the ball drop. When it does, New York City's new mayor, Bill de Blasio, will officially be sworn in. And if FBN's Charlie Gasparino is right, you may pay the price no matter what city you live in. <laughs> Charlie, uh, I mean, Happy I know you're not a new Bill year. de Blasio fan, but he's going <laughs> to wreck it for everybody everywhere. Well, I mean, here's the thing. We've had 20 years on the Rudy Giuliani and Mike Bloomberg where New York City became the symbol of urban renewal. Uh, we, have a, we have a mayor now who ran on the notion that, let's face it, I mean, what did he say? He said New York City is a horrible place. He said it's a Dickinsonian hellhole. He said it's a tale of two cities. He basically said this is a place that is, you know, turn back the clock to Upton Sinclair. That's the way he described New York City. We all know that's not true. And these are the policies this guy's going to bring in. We should point out that, Bill, that, that Barack Obama came in as president as among maybe the most liberal U.S. senator. This guy is far to the left of Barack Obama based on his policies. And I will tell you this, um, if you're a New Yorker, you have to be scared because the bottom line is this. Bill de Blasio was elected. He won by 75, 25 percent, right? He won a big, Huge. allegedly a big mandate. Yeah. Yet, yet, he won with 17 percent of the electorate. This is a very complacent electorate. These kids that move here from Iowa and Illinois and wherever don't remember what it was like living here in the 70s. That's well, all I can Well, then you tell know you. what, Charlie? Someone didn't articulate the other side of this because, to your point, Anytime a politician wins with north of 60 percent, it doesn't matter how many people showed up and at they, the polls, they, they, they they're going to claim a mandate and they're going to push that agenda Charles, through. Charles, Joe Loda, I know pretty well. He was the Republican candidate. He's sure. a good man. He ran the MTA during or Sandy. He ran New York City during 9 11. He was Rudy a terrible Williams candidate, deputy. though. He was a terrible candidate, but, but, the New York City press, most of it, I would say everybody but the New York Post, did not cover just how left-wing this guy. We should point out that the New York Times ran a story about, the, about Bill de Blasio's ties to the Sandinista rebels, about his honeymoon in Cuba, and the fact that he never apologized to that after, after he was elected as a Democratic nominee. After. I Charlie, ask you, it, why didn't they why didn't they run that story before? Because if they Charlie, ran that story before, a what, much more moderate candidate would have been the Democratic what, what, nominee. What about the Probably Blasio? Bill you Thompson. Have, Bill not Thompson not would have been mayor right now. everybody watching the show, Charlie, knows about Bill de Blasio's background. They don't understand. What are you talking about? Tell us specifically, what is he going to do to wreck New York City? He's going to raise your taxes. He's going to have a less aggressive police force. There's going to be, he's going to, by the way, guess what his big, his big thing coming out of the gate is going to be? Getting rid of those horse-drawn carriages. We have, a, we have an unemployment problem in New York. This guy is talking about penalizing the people, the people that create the jobs, the alleged tale of two cities, that other half of the city, which gives all the money, which pays most of the taxes, to the other half. And I will say this. Here's what I'm most worried about Bill de Blasio. He ran on a lie. New York City is one of the most generous cities in the world. Look at your paycheck, ladies and gentlemen. If you work in this town, you pay a lot of taxes. You pay a lot of taxes to create a social safety net. And guess what? That is not Dickinson. And I, that is, has nothing to do with Charles Dickens and Upton but Sinclair, I, which is what Bill de Blasio tried to sell it as. Right. And the other thing is, well, he look who he pointed at schools. Look, look who he pointed to as school's chancellor, another, another, another far lefty who's, you know, part of the education status quo, going to reverse what Joe Klein and Mayor Bloomberg did in Let's terms of here basically moment, creating moment, charter Charlie. schools. And I will say this, again, he won with a mandate, right. but with 17 percent of the vote, it the it people doesn't matter. in the city he, he, are complacent. In a few hours, he'll be the mayor of New York City. Here's what I want to oh, talk to you about. Here's what I want to talk to you about. Why in this amazing, successful city a rejection of capitalism. Why in Chile, probably one of the best economies in South America, a rejection of capitalism? Why is the Pope coming out? Why is he saying capitalism is mean-spirited? Where is this coming from, and could it spread across this country? Yeah, I, I mean, yes, I do. And here's where it's coming from, I'll tell you, Charles, and here's what's happening. In the past, you would have an aggressive media. When you take us out of it and a few others, there's not much aggressive media who doesn't take this stuff. I mean, the media should not be taking this stuff so seriously. When Pope, when the Pope talks about capitalism, listen, I listen. I'm a Catholic, but I'm telling you, there, the, the Catholic Church has not done as much to spread wealth around the world and to create jobs and put food in people's mouth as capitalism has. Okay, who's saying that? Well, we are, but it's certainly not the New York Times. So when Bill De Blasio runs on the notion of a tale of two cities. I'm trying to turn Mayor Bloomberg, who I'm telling you is not quite a Tea Party member, into some sort of right-wing fanatic, you have to question it. 
You have to question him, his intentions, and the very fact is this, he ran on a lie. And like I said again, I'm a card-carrying Catholic, I believe in the good Lord, and I always say Merry Christmas, but no system in the world has put food in people's mouth more than capitalism, surely not the Catholic Church. Capitalism has done it. Well, I got to tell you, Charlie, you know, I don't disagree with any of the things that you just said, but I do think that somehow capitalism needs a new PR strategy or maybe to your earlier point, well, just we're the truth. All doomed. Just we're all, all you doomed. have to do, all you have to do, is report it fairly. Okay. And that's the problem. The the, the news, the media, the mainstream media will not report capitalism fairly. All right. Where are you, by the way? Before I let you go, I'm in the great city of Boston, and okay. uh, my wife and I are going to uh, in, enjoy New Year's here. It's uh, actually colder than New York. Usually we go someplace warm. All right, Charlie. We picked a colder place. Happy New Year, buddy.